Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Will Gerling here, Sports and Performance Nutritionist, and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a really good video for you. We are in fact going to be talking about the myth, the myth that is I'm sugar crashing whilst I'm riding. We're going to go into the nitty gritty, the in depth of that, and talk about why you're not sugar crashing. It says roll that intro and get started. Yes, welcome back to another episode talking about nutrition for you guys. I'm so glad you're joining me here. If you hadn't noticed there's something really different about this video, what could it be? What? What could it be? Who knows? That's right, it is November, so if you are sporting a moustache, hit a comment down below. Tell me what style yours is. That's right, we are talking about the very important topic of why you're not sugar crashing. Many of you out there, and I see it time and time again, whether it's from companies, like I see it so much, there's a company out at the moment that's selling teas to support energy and performance whilst riding. And they talk about, oh, the sugar crash and how you are having this and I need stable energy and these kinds of things and then people end up having nuts and they have like you know peanut butter sandwiches and all these kinds of things and while a peanut butter sandwich is not the worst thing and it may support performance because of the bread fat and certain a lot of these other supplements and products out there are not doing anything different a supplement that is providing maltodextrin dextrose glucose all these kinds of things fructose are not providing anything different than having simple sugar, especially when sugar, sucrose, is a combination of glucose and fructose together. So why are you, or people that you know, feeling like they're having a sugar crash? Well, the simple story is that you are just not maintaining blood glucose levels during exercise. It is as simple as that. Can you believe it? That aged old question, oh, I'm just crashing like a, you know, I have this and then I crash and I have this and I crash. Ultimately, what it is, is that as you're exercising and doing a long endurance ride, that your blood sugar levels start to drop as you perform exercise because you are maintaining your ability to exercise by utilizing carbohydrate, whether that's glycogen, liver glycogen, or the carbohydrate you're even taking on the bike. If it is inadequate amounts, blood glucose levels will drop below and you could start to bonk, so it's going below normal levels, so below four millimoles. And at this point, you are going to obviously either bonk or just struggle to perform. And then what people do is they'll take on their emergency gel They'll take on their jelly beans, they'll take on a bit of sugar, they'll be like, oh, sugar, I need sugar. And they'll take on like 20 grams, 40 grams maybe. They'll have it, blood sugar levels will start to rise, they'll feel great, feel awesome, the sugar's working. And then what will happen? They don't maintain eating. You're not continuing to eat the food, taking it on to help maintain blood glucose. So blood glucose has come down, you've taken something on, it's come back up then you're not continuing to eat food. So it, rather than staying elevated and keeping you able to perform, it's gone up and starts to come back down again. This is where people have this perception that eating sugar on the bike or during a run is causing a sugar crash and that sugar is bad for you. Whereas it really isn't the case. It is purely a fact that you're not maintaining blood glucose levels and that minimum amounts of 30 grams an hour of carbohydrate has been shown to help maintain and aid performance during exercise, with intakes up to 120 grams being recommended. So 30 to 120 grams is the minimum to maximum recommendation of carbohydrate. And this ultimately depends on how fit you are. So how long have you been riding, running, doing your exercise, like how good you are. And then it also depends on the intensity of the exercise and the duration. The longer you go, obviously, the more you need to fuel because the more empty your tank will become. 
and same thing for high intensity. The harder you're riding, especially for the longer as well, the more carbohydrate you need to fuel your tank. Essentially just like a car. So you fill up your car when you go for a long motorway journey. So you don't just get to the end, but you know, when a warning light comes on and you don't just go, oh, I'll put five pounds in or like five dollars in of petrol or gas and then carry on on your way, you refill the whole tank like a smart person. So why don't we do this the same here? So I can definitively tell you, everyone out there, you are not sugar crashing. The sugar is not bad for you. The body does not recognize that because you're having jelly babies and because you're having a gel that they're different. They're not. Ultimately, it's a very simple form of carbohydrate that your body is utilizing then and there to maintain exercise. It's not gonna have any adverse effects on your health. So it may, sugar may have an effect on your teeth and oral hygiene, of course, but it's not gonna have an adverse effect on your health and your sugar levels. So if you are a healthy individual that does not have diabetes, that does not have insulin related issues, and you are, as I said, a normal healthy individual, then you just need to eat a bit more a bit more regularly on your rides and I think you'll find the sugar hashes will go away. So that's today's video. Quick, simple, concise information for you guys out there. Drop a comment down below if you've experienced sugar crashes and maybe if it doesn't fit the parameters of what I've said. There are obviously other caveats that if you're low glycogen state before you start the exercise session or have had inadequate carbohydrate before the session and the session is of a long high intensity duration you may still struggle but once again guys if you did enjoy the video comment down below hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys again soon remember feel full work required and i'll see you later bye